Speaking of percent positivity, we've seen some progress in many parts of the Bay Area. Manatee County, especially, they've been around that target 5% for about a week now. But as 10 Tampa Bay's Leah Fernandez reports, leaders in the county know they are not in the clear just yet. Manatee County has tested 20.8% of their population. After continuing to see a rise in positive cases within the community, county commissioners took action, passing a mass mandate. Looking at the data, you can see from July 11th onward, there's been a significant decrease in positive COVID cases. We had just begun to see the early signs of a decrease or plateau around the time of the resolution to approve a mask mandate. And since that day, we have continued to see a steady decline, which we hope to attribute to the mask mandate, as well as diligent hygiene and social distancing behaviors of our residents. Public Safety Director Jake Sauer says the county's three area hospitals have also seen a minor decline of COVID ER visits over the last seven days. The hope is for that trend to continue, but with schools reopening, some commissioners fear the worst. You all know that the school district is very near and dear um, to my heart as, for, as well as youth. I'm very concerned. It's going to be a cesspool <laughs> germs and viruses and everything else like it normally is and it's you know this is kind of a virus that we still don't have a treatment for. There's added concern over not having enough supplies to protect teachers. It's really kind of scary to me that these teachers are being asked to open these classes without these resources and I, I know that they're talking about it, but my goodness, school starts on Monday, kids. Let's get going. The Manatee County Administrator says they will be providing face masks to teachers and students in connection to their Mask Up Manatee initiative. And we stand ready if they're unable to meet some requirements to help collaborate with purchasing items that are eligible under our side of the funds as well. Now, as far as helping people financially, Manatee County's administrator says there are more than 100 people working on getting CARES Act money out to those who need it. The Manatee CARES Housing Assistance Program is also taking applications right now through August 20th. For businesses, applications will open back up next Monday. That's for the second round of CARE money to help with the economic recovery.